Have you been finding it difficult to make chin chin in your home? Or do you think that it's too difficult for you to make chin chin in your home? Oh yeah, come close. Let me show you the easiest way to do chin chin at home. To a bowl, I save in a flour, add nutmeg and sugar. Mix everything together until it combines. To that, I added my margarine. Continue mixing until the margarine dissolved. After mixing for about 2 to 3 minutes, then I go in with my egg and milk. Mix until a dough is formed. A warm welcome to you, my new viewers. Please, if today is your first time of coming across my video, do me a favor to subscribe to my channel and put on your notification bell. Share this video to your family and friends. Like and drop a lovely comment. And to my returning subscribers, I love you. I appreciate your support. So always coming by to watch my videos. Thank you very much. Don't also forget to like the video and share to your family and friends. After mixing for about 2 to 3 minutes and a perfect dough is formed, knead a little bit on the work surface and divide the dough. Roll out to 1 inch flat or half inch flat or 1.5 inch flat depending on the size of the chin chin you want to make. Here in this video, I rolled out to 1 inch flat. Then grab your kitchen knife or any sharp object you have there in your kitchen and begin to cut the doughs as I'm doing in this video. A big shout out to you, Mary Olayemi, Laurencia Anason, and David Boniface. I'm glad you all love the recipe. Please tell us where you're watching from so that we'll give you a very big shout out in our next video. After cutting the dough in a vertical blend, I'll go ahead and cut it again in a horizontal blend. Just as I'm doing in this video, follow this process and you will see yourself in a dream of making quality and healthy chin chin. You can also start this as a business. Make this chin chin and sample it in any of your friend's shop. From there, you can get some customers. I have done this business before and I know how profitable it is. So after cutting all the doughs, you can see the sizes we have, the sizes of chin chin. Then gently in a hot moderate oil, add the chin chin and allow it to fry. Make sure to always stir it at interval of 2 minutes so that the chin chin will not get burnt from one side. Finally, once the chin chin turns golden brown, take them out from heat and spread them on a parchment paper to cool down before you now package it. Just look how healthy and delicious the chin chin looks. Finally, once the chin chin cools down completely, transfer them into an airtight container and a cover. You can preserve this for complete six months without the chin chin getting spoiled. So tell me in the comment section if you'll be trying this recipe out. Thank you for watching to this end. Please don't forget to like the video. See you all in my next video. Bye.